Welcome back, lads and lassies, I guess, potentially, who knows, uh, for some uh, title challenge. I mean, I think I think we can win the title if we win today, um, but it's all a bit weird. But uh, yeah, roll the intro. We'll look at it. Welcome back, yeah. Hope you're doing well and all sorts. We're doing spliffing here. Uh, it's just life is just lovely, isn't it? Anywho, like, like I said, it's a bit of uh, we're nine points clear, right? If we beat, we play Real today, I should say. So if we beat Real Madrid in the next match, they will have four matches remaining, and we could potentially be twelve points ahead. Now, how the Spanish one the league works is it's. Results between teams first. It's nothing about goal scores or goal difference or whatever. Ever. And since we won the first one versus Real Madrid, I mean, if we just win this one, we will literally win the league. Which is uh, quite handy when it's versus our arch enemies, Real Madrid. I mean, odds are we probably will li win it at some point there. I mean, we just need a win, right? But it'd be good to do it versus the scum that is Real Madrid. <coughs> And also, just be good to see if I'm even correct. Maybe I'm overlooking something. But we did just play uh, Albacete as well. Uh, Tuna win. Not much to say. Bit of rotation as well. The good old, good old. By the way, I, I completely forgot to mention this thing, but you've probably noticed him. Gavi is playing a bit here and there. Uh, he's like he actually exists in Barcelona in real life. He just <coughs> he's a bit of a wonder kid, apparently. He's like one of the ones with the highest potential in the game, apparently. Um, and uh, yeah, he looks amazing. He's developing really, really well. So I figured get him up in the first squad and give him some game time here and there. Also, Conrad de la Fuente has been playing a bit. Now, my idea wasn't necessarily to play him in this season, but I had a look at the B team like a, I don't know, a week ago in game, and I realized he was never playing for the B team. And why is that? Well, because he's not allowed to, because I registered him with the A team, right? So he's not allowed to play. A, for the B team. I didn't even know that was a thing. So he's just been sitting in the B squad the entire year doing absolutely nothing. Poor guy. So I figured, well, I may as well just put him up on the first team. So he's been playing here and there as well. He's developing with nice as well, but uh, that's probably my fault. You can develop him into an absolute world uh, superstar. He still has potential, but, you know, uh, there's just other people in line for him, right? But, you know, if you wanted to, I'm sure you could become absolutely amazing. But, uh, yeah. Right, it's Melbourne did turn now. Actually, it's right now. Yes, yes, indeed. And, uh, yeah, here's the squad. Sadly, no De La Fuente in the starting lineup. But, um, Chinkao is still kind of injured and played really well. So, uh, played really badly. So, I think that broken arm is actually wrecking him a little bit. Uh, ignore Pjanic. He's unhappy with playing time. I've been trying to sell him. Every time there's a transfer window, I try to sell him. And no one is willing to buy him. And he's on 275,000 a week. This is the problem Real, uh, Barcelona are going to have in real life as well. I mean, you, you're not going to get rid of him. And he doesn't fit Barcelona. He's just what a waste of money and time for everyone. Same probably goes for if we man manage to get Wijnaldum this summer on a free. I mean, it's a good bit of business. He's a great player, but he's 30. He's going to get stuck the same way that Pjanic is. Of course, he can prove me wrong. But I think the odds are there that it's just going to be... <sighs> Anywho... Pretty much strongest eleven, except that Sancho goes in instead of, uh, instead of Mr. Uh, Trincao. So yeah, I mean you know the ele eleven by now. So let's just get into it and crush these fools. And we're off. Of course, Sergio Ramos is playing again. So let's hope for uh, an amazing own goal from him. That would be, I mean that would be amazing. As <laughs> Digne and Ramos get a yellow card together, maybe they were fighting each other probably. Finally a highlight. Uh, sadly, it's the wrong way to Real Madrid. So low football. I mean, he was offside, right? Yeah, and the linesman is finally actually doing his job and, you know, doing what he's meant to, which is wave the damn flag. <coughs> so, well done. Well done indeed. I mean, I, even I could see that was a wave of, way offside. I don't need to see it again. Thank you. Hmm. Well, apparently they're... They have a highlight again, apparently. I mean... That is definitely not outside. Mr. Dominic Sobolasalje. Wonder Kid special this year. 
Yeah, I don't need to see that again now. It's uh, terrible. I mean, are we going to have a highlight? It says we're dominating. Well, we're not seeing anything. Now we're just seeing more of them. Okay, fine. Let's let's see some bar settings. Found a room. He's just going to kick it long, right? No. Of course, I'm a little bit worried that Delict can at any moment just pass it to one of theirs. and then. So we need to score loads of goals. <coughs> okay, it's a Santio. Good control by him. It was close, but yeah. Angle was a bit too tight. I would have liked to see Holland in there and poke it home, but apparently not on this occasion. So, of course, all my theory crafting at the start kind of becomes absolutely pointless if. Uh, show me something else in the second half if we don't actually manage to win this match. But as it stands right now, I think we're still. Yeah, we won 3-1 the first match, so we're still ahead of them in, what's that called, like, uh, matches between the two teams. But, of course, then, we still need to have the enough points. Uh, it's all a bit confusing. <coughs> right. We're just knocking around, we're apparently just wasting time, it feels like, until Trent is like, no, I'm going to go score. And he, is he going to do it? I mean, what? I, okay, apparently, yeah, just say stuff like that, and then they do it, that's lovely, he literally just said, screw you guys, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do it all on my own, which you can respect from a right back, he just takes on, I mean, they're not really pressing him, and then he just decides, well, I'm just gonna shoot, and the keeper is like, I don't know, taking a nap, well, hmm, good from him, uh, kinda need some others to start stepping up, because it's been quite a terrible affair, it says, on a oh, it's, the rumor has the assist. That's hilarious. So now he has a seven point, well, seven rating. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty amazing. I would hardly call it an assist. Well, yeah, yeah. if it counts. Sancho, he's alone. Ah. Okay, let's uh, do a few changes here. Mbappe is having a shocker, so get him off. Um, the young. I ah, will keep him up there. Vindal is randomly having a shocker, so we'll put Mendes on. Let's see since we can. Okay, a bit more focus, lads. Of course, a draw means well, pretty much nothing, but we were still nine points clear, obviously. But then if we, I guess if we win the match at hand, then we're definitely going to win the league. It's all a bit. I mean, De Jong is having a shocker, and you know, at any moment, he could just pass it to one of them. So, put Tonali in there. <coughs> Fresh legs as well. And then just Hope for the best. Oh, are we going to have a final highlight? Oh, don't. Yeah. Oh, just do it again, Trent. You can do it. But yeah, I was worried the lick would just pass it to them. Uh, Sancho, do a cross maybe. Just don't shoot yourself. That would be silly. Okay, Trent, he wants an assist as well. Fatty! Okay, that was a great save, I guess, by Courtois. <coughs> yeah, Fatty with the header. Probably not where you expect it to come from. <coughs> Looks like the highlight continues. Or they are just going to rub it in my face. <laughs> I mean, he, he keeps going. Uh, but that was definitely a free kick over there. And Casimiro goes very close. That was a bit of a <laughs> bit of a strike there. I mean, that wasn't good enough. We should have won. But at home? Come on! Yes, it's Messi. And Messi played terribly. He was so boring. Club is spotted. All right. Well, good for him. Right. Anyways, uh, I guess we'll just skip forward a bit and then play the next match where I think we can win the league. We'll find out. Right. We're back, gang. And as far as I can tell, if we win this match, I mean, it's only us playing, right? <clears throat> if we do win this match, we will then be 12 points ahead of Real Madrid with four matches to go. And we have a better head-to-head, -head, meaning that we will indeed win the league, right? Let's see if it... Uh, um, <coughs> hang on. Because I should show the team as well, a bit silly. Uh, it's basically the same team, but I've decided to give De La Fuente a game. Because, I mean, why not? He's been rotting in the reserve squad for so long, so I feel like I owe him a game. Um, so yeah, he's going to start. Sancho wasn't amazing last game. and uh, I mean, you don't really need a right-winger when Trent Alexander-Arnold is playing right-winger. 
um, and defender at the same time. So does it say that we can win the league here? Come on, yeah, we're, we're potentially a point away from clinching the title here. Sure, let's say that. I don't know what that means, but I'm just, I'm pretty sure that if we just win this match, we will win the league. Like outright. Okay, so they're playing a very defensive formation, and what I like to do is just get go hard on the on the wing backs, and then yeah, hope for the best. Early chance, perhaps. Conrad, I don't have to wind out. He loves going from there. Oh, not on this occasion, but is he going to get a pen? I mean, it didn't really look like a pen. Yeah, okay, no penalty. Well, thank you for that. So, VAR, really useful. <clears throat> okay, another chance maybe. Messi with the free kick. All the way back to Weindel. Give it to Messi again. Yes, he wants it. To the young, he loves a good shot. Uh, come on, go now. Nice and easy. Okay, get some width going then if we're not gonna. Yep. From Trent, he loves it. You know he loves it. <laughs> Is it another VAR? You are joking, right? I mean, that was clearly not a foul either. Who was that just waving his arms about? Yeah, it's not a penalty. Holy moly, this is going to be a long match if we're going to have a VAR every four minutes. <clears throat> okay, free kick on the edge. Messi wants it. He can do it. Boo! Oh, trademark Messi in the far corner instead. Checks the keeper. Noisily done, and then he celebrates in front of the LFS fans, which is kind of rude. But yeah, it's nice and easy in the far corner, so he goalkeeper's going the wrong way. Good job. That's two episodes in a row now that Messi scored a free kick. I can't use the same uh, bloody picture on the thumbnail. Even. No, that'd be silly. I mean, it would be easier for me, but it's Trent. Now he's upset. He wants a goal as well. You can tell. Conrad? I almost said Capella, but his name is Conrad. Conrad? Which is just a strange name when you consider that he's American. Con Conrad de la Fuente. As my. What? My director of football is walking around doing weird things? What about the scouting? No, they have an injury to Grand Sir. I mean, that's, uh, that's a great name. Grand Sir. This is a. Game of Thrones. Anywho, I mean, that was a very, very boring first half. Unless you find VAR entertaining. So, so, so yeah, we are indeed 12 points ahead as it stands right now. Um, holy moly, this is boring. I'm going to do some changes here. Holland is having a shocker. Um, put Mbappe up front and then put Fatty on the left for now. And then we can do some more change arenas after... Wow, not a single highlight, and now, I mean, Holland is also playing like crap, so, put Messi up front, and then put, let's put Gavi on there, I could put Petri, but let's give Gavi uh, some game time, and who else, let's put Tonali on for Kamavinga, who's struggling a little bit for fitness, they're going proper hard with the tackling, aren't they, so many yellow cards, what's that, seven yellow, um, did we win then? I mean, I think we win, but why didn't it? Uh, sure. Didn't we win the league now? Right, well, I'm very confused. I mean, we're clearly 12 points clear, right? It's four matches to go. That's 12 points. The league is decided by head-to-head. -head. Our head-to-head -head is one draw versus Real Madrid, and then we beat Real Madrid. Huh? Oh well, guess we'll play Leganes as well, be a triple match episode, why not? Alright gang, well um, this is a bit silly, I forgot to hit record as I played the uh, match versus Leganes. Which is really sad, it was definitely one of my best commentating experiences ever, there was so much fun stuff in there and uh, that's a bit embarrassing. Um, it just threw me completely off the fact that they tried to rob us of the title in the last match. But, um, yeah, I mean, we smashed them 5 0. It was very comfortable. 28 shots, 69 targets to 3 to 1. Um, good news was that, let's see here, Mr. Telefuente got a goal. Um, which is a beautiful goal. 
beautifully worked. I mean, it's just back and forth, back and forth. And uh, yeah, great goal. So we smashed them 5 0, and we are now officially, officially the champions. I even got a Steam notification. Apparently, Dominator, whatever that means. It was a uh, oh, Domination Award. Three consecutive top division league titles. Not too bad. Sig was on the cream of Danish managers. I mean, that sounds so, a bit weird, but. And of course, we do the double because we already won the. Oh, we aim and Holland ends gold drought. Well, I had previously played over 10 hours on competitive football without scoring a goal. I wasn't even aware. I mean, you're superb. Yeah, well done, lad. So then. Sorry for that m bit of a mishap, but uh, I guess I'm a bit confused. Um, anywho, like, gonna play the next three matches and then uh, we shall, of course, come back in the all important Champions League final versus Manchester City. And then we can do some end of season rewards and look in a bit of a deeper look into the season as it went along. I, mean, I just noticed he scored, he got two assists as well. Great performance by Mr. Holen, as I'm apparently chasing Musa. Well, you can understand why. I mean, the guy is actually amazing. But he's also very fast, so I probably can't catch him. But we'll see. I'm already, well, my, you know, my better half is already scouting for me for next season. Potentially next season. I mean, it might just be that this is actually the last season for now. Um, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I kind of have other things I want to get stuck into. Uh, other projects I want to start. So we might have to, if we win the Champions League, we might have to put this this one on hold for a little bit at least. And then, uh, but yeah, We'll see. Nothing is certain yet. And uh, that does require people actually watching the video, which hopefully one day will happen. But as of right now, not so much. But uh, yeah. <laughs> Having said that, if you did like it, press like. Subscribe, comment, do all sorts, and then actually doing comments like, I watched it, that would be lovely. Maybe one day in eight years or something, I'll have a million people watching it and everyone is commenting. You never know, as my technical director is walking around uh, negotiating with players. So, yeah, till next time, ciao!